this is choose your own adventure. What line do you want, Jerry? One through one through ten. I can't see them. I'll, I know that's why it's choose your own adventure. All right. It's I'll, a, I'll take eight. All right. Uh, this is George. Oh, not George. Yeah, yeah sorry. You agreed. You signed yeah. off. Too late. All right, George in D.C. Okay. Yeah, my question uh, was a, for the shows like that. Um, I wanted to know why don't they get people who have somewhat of an education? Why do they get black, the dumbest black people to represent black people or the dumbest white people to represent white people? Why can't they get some people that have an education that can speak to some of these issues? That they deal with it's always the same thing well it's based purely on people that call the show so smart so, people don't call yeah them. well we get i would say that among the young people we get a lot of college kids so okay. they're getting an education so i that description of the guests is not accurate but what george is saying is true a lot of them don't don't have it and um uh, but here's the deal. When our show started, now, first of all, let me say this. Our show is put on, or was put on purely for entertainment. So I'm not going to sit here and say we were going to save the world. It was an entertainment show. Now, having said that, the people that come on our show, up until our show, really, American television was virtually all upper middle class white almost exclusively. If you were a, a, of a minority, an African-American, Hispanic or whatever, you were on a side network. He was looking or out for you y'all. Were, or you were doctor, a, a doctor living in the suburbs like Cosby. Yeah. Okay. And then everything, even if you were African-American and they put you on the news, you had to speak the Queen's English, you know, with, with perfect grammar, et cetera. Now, all of a sudden, now, I, I don't find anything wrong with upper middle class white. I was raised like that. But that's not the only slice of America. So you're saying you're showing the whole American pie by well, showing... the objection to our show was based almost exclusively on a certain elitist view that, oh, these people are trash. And yet you could watch late night television and you have these celebrities who are beautiful, wealthy, famous, and we cheer them. They have the exact same stories as the people that come on these talk shows. They're just not fist fighting with their titties out. The point is they write books of who they've been with, the drugs they have been yeah, on, yeah, yeah. their misadventures. And we can't wait to buy their albums, to see their movies, to buy their books. And yet if someone who well, isn't a, rich and isn't talent. famous and isn't good looking comes on a show and talks about the exact same issue, all of a sudden we say, ah, they're trash. Well, I disagree with that. Well, it's it's not you know, just talking about the people about on late the issue. night are luckier. Mm. Yes, no. Ninety nine percent of mean, what we are in life is luck. You had nothing to do with the the health you were born with. No, you're to right. To whom you were born, it's, you're right. It's but, a gift. But you like for you, for instance, you're you're a very bright man. You had to put yourself. You had to go through college, hop through the hoops. That that takes that takes work. Ninety nine percent of what I am is pure luck. Okay, I work hard. But you want to see a person who works hard? The guy who's picking up the garbage, the uh, the uh, you know the, some of the guys working in factories, the guys cleaning streets, whatever. Could, That's how, hard work. You, what do I do? I look at my schedule. Oh, I'm going to do an interview here. Oh, I'm going to do. I mean. Let's be honest. I People, I would like you to be. Yeah, that's what I'm being. I would like you to be honest. You're and the honest it. is luck. No, I'm doing just the opposite. All right, then. I don't want to come in here and say, then, well, you know, I earned everything right. I got. So No, would, I didn't choose my parents. I had you, great parents. I didn't you argue, choose them. Would you argue that you're taking advantage of people with bad luck then? No. You, I, not at all. Am I, uh, you, you don't cut out the parts where their titties are falling out and they're acting all wild and they're fist fighting each other with the weaves gone and stuff. Take an English professor from Harvard, let's say. Okay. And he comes home one night 
and he finds his wife in bed with the next door neighbor. Do you think for one second that English professor from Harvard would say, forsooth, my dear, what is it that I have found? No, he'd probably start cursing. He'd start throwing things, he punching wouldn't. the guy. It, in fact, he would this book idea, a flight to be on television to this, be on your show to do it, though. That's a separate question whether you want to be on television or not. You don't think famous people want to be on television? You don't. You don't think Depends on when what you go for. to when you go to a ball game, or when you or when there's a news reporter out on the streets covering an accident, virtually everyone is behind the camera waving, "Hey, mom, hi." I mean, this is we we attribute this. This see that is even elitist. What you're saying what? is that. Oh, these poor. I didn't they, take advantage of. I didn't take advantage of broke people, and, and clown on them, and then hide behind well, elitism as an excuse. Well, because you you are willing. I was to a call, poor person, you, okay. and I did get it taken advantage of. Well, I'm not saying you didn't take it advantage of, but I someone did it willingly, knowingly. Okay, well, the people that come on a show, why? Who are you to say you're not? You don't speak the Queen's English. You're not educated enough. You can't be on this talk how, show. I guess no, it's not how they're they speak. allowed to be on a show like anyone else. I you agree. never complain if I, if if, if a, a, a wealthy person gets on television. No one ever says, "How dare that person come and talk about what he's concerned about or she's concerned about." I'd like I like what you're saying. I hear what you're saying, but I think I think it's not. It's not how they speak. It's uh, the actions that are being judged. You know, if you don't have great language, oftentimes you resort to cursing. You resort to... Fisticuffs. If, yeah, if you're really angry, some people, yes, they can't... You know what? So a well-educated person can kill you with kindness. He can... In, I feel it right now. Yes, I'm. Yes, I feel I'm, it right now, Jerry. I'm killing you with because you're a nice person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he loves. You, me. Honestly, you should be Santa. <laughs> Thank you. You should be Satan. I mean, yes. it's, I am. I know. <laughs> Jerry Springer, y'all. This is fucking. This, this is, is great. 